Let's find the antiderivative of this function here. Now, whenever you see a function separated into pieces, you want to think about taking the antiderivative in terms of each piece. Now, a lot of students hate this next step, but I'm telling you it's going to help keep your answers right. So I'm going to use something called the sum and difference rule that we learn right away when we do um, integrals. So I'm going to separate this in terms of its plus or minus sign, maybe do small changes like write this as x to the two-thirds and just keep writing it as students just they hate oh they hate rewriting this dx over and over and over but you know what it's not killing me so it's not going to kill you it'll help you solve the problem all right there we have now we have just four little individual ones to work on and they're not so bad this right here is just four pi or 4 or 22 it's just a constant so the integral of a constant is going to be that constant times x plus now this is just a variable to a power a, a, a real number power so that rule says I have to take the power and add 1 and divide by the new power now I'm going to come back later and simplify that but that's okay for now and this is also, these two are actually the exact same types of problems. You've got a variable to a power that is a constant. So I'm going to use the same rule. e plus 1 divided by e plus 1. Don't estimate e, just leave it e, just like you would pi. Plus, now this is something I just have to recognize. I know that's arctan of x plus c. Now, for those of you who are in my class on the gateway, you forget that and you miss points. Don't forget it. Now I'm just going to do one more step to do a little simplifying. I know that 2 thirds plus 1, well I don't know, let's do it off to the side. 2 thirds plus 1 is 2 thirds plus 3 thirds, which is 5 thirds. So if I simplify this, this becomes x to the 5 thirds divided by 5 thirds plus x to the e plus 1. There's nothing to simplify there. And then arctan of x plus c. And then math manners say that you never leave this like in this multiple levels. Your fraction only should have two levels like this. So one more step. 4 pi x plus 3 x to the 5 thirds over 5 plus x e plus 1 over e plus 1 plus arctan of x plus c. There you have it.